the man holding the glass bottle had no idea that history was about to bite him. In a dim room in the Netherlands in 1745, electricity was still a trick, something that leapt, cracked, and vanished. Sparks jumped from metal rods. Hair stood on end. People laughed, startled, but never afraid. Because electricity everyone believed could not stay. It was a ghost. That night, the air smelled faintly of glass dust and warm metal. A simple bottle sat on the table. Thick glass, water inside, a metal rod passing through a cork. It looked harmless, almost boring. Yet curiosity pressed heavier than caution. What if lightning could be trapped? The experimenter connected the rod to a friction machine. The wheel turned. The crackle began. Tiny blue sparks flickered like nervous insects. Electricity flowed into the bottle, but instead of vanishing, it hesitated. It lingered. The room grew quiet, as if even the air was listening. This was new. No one had ever seen electricity stay put. Minutes passed. The machine stopped. The bottle remained untouched, innocent in appearance. And that was the moment, a pause filled with doubt. Had anything actually happened? Or was this just another failed attempt, another ghost slipping away unseen? Then came the mistake. A hand reached for the bottle. Fingers brushed the metal rod. The shock was violent. A jolt tore through the body, sharp, blinding, unforgettable. Muscles locked. Breath vanished. Pain flared like a sudden explosion inside the chest. The man staggered back, heart pounding, eyes wide with terror and awe. The electricity hadn't disappeared. It had been waiting. In that instant, fear turned into revelation. This was no parlor trick, no fleeting spark. Electricity could be stored, held, released on command. A force of nature captured inside glass. Word spread quickly. Scholars across Europe repeated the experiment, forming chains of people holding hands, releasing the charge together. Dozens shocked at once, shouting, laughing, shaken. What once danced freely in storms was now obedient, contained, measurable. The Leyden jar changed everything, because if electricity could be stored, it could be studied. If it could be studied, it could be mastered. From that fragile bottle would come batteries, power grids, electric light, and a world that never sleeps. Cities glowing through the night like artificial stars. All of it began with a simple question and a painful surprise. A man reached out and the universe answered back. If you enjoyed this story of the moment humanity first trapped lightning, please like, share, and subscribe. And let me know in the comments, what other forgotten turning points in human history should we explore next?